All right, so it's time for another not so awesome re review unboxing. I know this. And today we are looking at the uh, Max Factory Figma Masaki um, Kurusu figure, also known as Christina, from Steins Gates. That was a lot to remember. Um, yeah, this is the lab coat version, not the regular jacket version, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't usually like getting, you can say Figma figures or just figures in general with the joints like the Bandai, Dragon Ball Z ones or anything like that, just because I don't like seeing the joints. But for Steins Gate, I just knocked something over, <laughs> for Steins Gate, this is basically the easiest, kind of cheapest way to get um, both Okabe and Kurusu, the, like, like the two best characters in that show in my opinion, uh, for cheap so that's why i got it um which is surprising because figma figures are usually a lot of money depending on the figure uh like i said this is the lab coat version which i think she even wore like one episode but whatever it was cheap it, was what it, it is what it is um yeah let's just let's get let's get over it let's just open this thing here the one piece a tape holding the box closed so put it down here pull that the box you know the back you can see kind of like the various poses you can put her in um not much else to say steins gate if you haven't seen the anime i definitely recommend it it is definitely one of my favorites after watching it i really enjoyed it um i just a lot i mean this anime was just it was hilarious it had you know good amount of drama but time travel uh, a lot of references to different time travel things it was cool i liked it um like i said so let's see it just like that so i'm assuming i can just pop this up Ooh, plastic and uh yeah let's get the figure out first just wrapped in a few things that's interesting um yeah so here we have i'm just gonna keep calling her christina or just courtesy whatever it's easier to remember the detail on her face looks really good and detail on like everything else looks amazing there's still some plastic wrapped around here near this high that's awkward Um, let's see if I can get all of it. There we go. So yeah, legs, let's see, feet move, legs move, knees bend. The lab coat is rubbery, so it's movable. The hair, well, not the hair, but the head definitely moves up and down. Arms, elbows, hands, not so much um yeah let's just put this over here kind of i don't think it's gonna stand on its own that great but yeah let's just let's just put it down uh let's see we have a zip log bag for i guess all the various pieces that you want to take out if you don't want to keep the box so that's i guess pretty convenient um here we have the stand so let's do this just so we can uh, keep her standing. Stand, stand. Different hands. Now, I'm not going to go through every single like piece that she can go through because it, that would take forever. And this is definitely just an unboxing, not a review. But uh, I'll see if I can change a few things. I don't know how brave I am on trying this because I don't want to try too hard or break anything. Um, so let's see. Stand pretty straightforward. Looks like you just put that there. And on the back here between her under her hair, so you can't see it when her head's down, which is good, is a little peg, which you just stick the other one through. Let's see if I can get it. I'm 
Unless I have this wrong. The other peg looks smaller. Is there like a, is there a way to do this wrong? I think there is. I think there yeah, there definitely is, and this part, just FYI, will not fit on the uh, body. Um this part, the skinnier part, probably will. I say probably because I'm trying to figure this out. And uh yeah, it's it's pretty rough, but I think I got it. Let's attach the other parts. And now we have a standing figure, which is kind of funny that you can, it's basically flying in the air if you want it to be. Um, yeah. Let's just keep it like that for right now. Woo, flight power or something, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, you get different hands. You can see there. Um, let's see. Get slippers if you want to put slippers on it. I believe Okabe comes with slippers too. Uh, different hands. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of uh, want to see how to change this. Kind of don't because I don't want to ruin anything. But let's, I guess, try and change just the hands here with the ones that I believe these are the ones that go put in the pocket. So... If I'm right. Yeah. Okay, so basically you go in there, pull, comes off, and then you get the other one, and you just force it in there. And there you go. Move that to the coat pocket. And it, eh, it gives the effect like she has her hand in her pocket. Um, that's the most I'm going to do for now. Uh, I may do a review on this later along with the Okabe figure just to save time. But for now, this is just an unboxing video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know I didn't go through everything it can do. But we'll build up to that once I figure out how everything goes. And I don't mean, like I said, I don't want to break anything. So yeah, hope you guys liked it. Like I said, check out Steins Gates. It's 25 episodes. Really good show. You can find like the first few of them on Funimation's YouTube. In English, you can find dubbed episodes on their YouTube as well. So there's really no excuse not to watch it unless it's blocked in your country, in which case that's a pretty good excuse. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.